On this morning's Health Watch, something that might surprise you. School has just started and already we're seeing hundreds of cases of H1N1 flu at some colleges and universities around the country. CBS News correspondent Nancy Cordes is in Washington this morning with the numbers. Nancy, good morning. Maggie, good morning to you. Yeah, when you have a lot of kids living in close quarters, you've got a perfect breeding ground for an aggressive virus like H1N1. So colleges all across the country are starting to take some extraordinary precautions. Some colleges are already seeing an outbreak of swine flu as students return to the dorms. At the University of Kansas, there are 200 suspected cases, 150 at Georgia Tech, 100 cases at the University of Tennessee, and more than 50 cases reported at the University of Alabama. I'm obsessed. Every time I see somewhere I can wash my hands. I'm pretty, pretty careful what I touch. At the University of Maryland, students are getting a crash course on hygiene the moment they arrive on campus. But well, we want students not to attend class if they're feeling ill. And we have asked them to um, prepare little flu kits for themselves so they can have some nourishment and fluids and fever medications um, in their own residences. Other schools are handing out hand sanitizer, even teaching cough etiquette. The bottom line is really trying to get folks to recognize that they need to be prepared. The CDC is recommending that universities promote self-isolation, in other words, providing alternate housing for sick students who live in dorms. Maggie? All right, CBS's Nancy Cordes. Thank you, Nancy.